Oh, good evening, everybody. Hasn't it been a busy day? My goodness me, it's been quite a busy week or even a busy month, honestly. But we're absolutely loving it. And uh, I'm sorry about having to change the uh, tile time to, to a later time. But of course, I hope you managed to catch uh, a little bit more inspiration this afternoon from Hobby Maker. It was a little bit short notice, but of course, we're always happy to oblige if we can. So if you can manage another break and another uh, bit of tangling with me, then here we go. By the way, I can't promise that the dogs are not going to bark because they're downstairs. They've been fed, but John's not in yet. And that could cause chaos when he does get there. So let's see how far we get before that happens. Oh, hello, everybody. Good evening. All right. You can see on the... Uh, on the screen there, I've got a tile. I'm actually using a light grey out of the monochromes. I have also, oh, hang on a second. I've got my regular pen, pencil tortillon, as we all know. I've got my white chalk pencil. And I've got my two circles here. These are out of the essential stencils, part of the Zen button section. There you go. So we, uh, we've we got two little circles. I like donuts. If you haven't got them, don't worry. Just find something that's round. You can draw it or sketch it. It's absolutely fine. And honestly, you don't even need a circle. If you want to do something different, go ahead and do something different. It's absolutely fine. A uh, quick apology. If I've not <laughs> messaged you back or not answered your email today, I, I have been incredibly busy. Uh, and I do apologise. I'll get round to you all. I know there's a couple of messages coming. So I will get them sorted and, and I'll answer you tomorrow. So uh, bear with me, please. Okay. Oh, Louise, hello. Can you tell your mum, Maureen, actually, that I loved her uh, large picture, her large tangle? It looks absolutely fabulous, a bit with the blue on it. It's absolutely divine. I'm so proud of her. And hello, Deborah from New York. Hello, everybody. All right, I'm coming straight in with pen. Don't matter what pen you've got. This is an 03, uh, but I think actually mine are a little bit th thinner. So we'll see how we go. You, you can use what you like. So I'm going to hold on to my, my shape. And of course, if you find this a little bit tricky, you can always put a bit of blue tack underneath it and draw around it. Now, before I move it, I'm going to draw around the inside. Hello, everybody. Doesn't it feel nice when it's an evening that we do this? I'm going to put the circle on the inside now. And then I'm going to create that inner circle. That's all we need the stencil for job done out the way so you want a little bit of a target there like that if again if you haven't got the stencils don't worry about it you can sketch that or you can draw around something that you've got on your desk whatever uh, whatever happens okay i'm going to come in with my pencil now first thing i'm going to do is there we are <laughs> i'm going to draw in a um a line sort of splitting the two circles or the circles in, in sort of in half there okay <laughs> yeah, so this is a nice tile. So I hope so anyway. It's sort of revisiting something we have done in the past. But it's um, yeah, a little bit different. Okay, we've got a bit of a cross in there now. So I'm going to look at each section and I'm going to split it in two. But this time I'm going to split those two. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. About, about halfway. And then again. Oh, Nicola, I've not even had an evening meal yet. <laughs> I've been washing up. John does that though, honestly. He's got a dishwasher. That's his friend. <laughs> yeah, he shouts at me if I fill it. I don't fill it properly, apparently. Okay, so looking at these spaces, I'm going to split this into two. So just those top two. Louise, we might be, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Oh, I'm going to go in a little bit more. That's not quite... Not quite middle. That was, <laughs> that was me thinking about the numbers on a dartboard then. So how does that work? And that one. And that one. So each time, sort of splitting it up. And half again. There we go. And then another one. Oh, hello there. Yeah, we're all well here. Hope you're all well out there. It's a really nice day. Apparently it's going to get even hotter by Friday. So I'm expecting some of you are going to be in the garden doing this. Maybe. You'd be impressed, actually, Leslie. I was just thinking of you because I've made myself a cup of tea. How's that? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, here we go. Zoomed in a bit. So we've got two sort of areas. I'm going to start on this inner one here. 
and I'm just going to work on a section at a time. So it doesn't matter. See, that one's a little bit wider than that. doesn't matter. So I'm going to start sort of in the middle. I'm going to create a little curve this way and a little curve this way, just to fill that gap. So you could do that as a separate or you can do all this way. So I'm going to turn the tile as I go all this way. <laughs> no, Leslie. It's a nice cup of tea, actually. I've not done bad at all. You obviously trained me well. <laughs> all right. So see, I'm going and doing all that, that side. And uh, I'm going to go around the whole thing first with this. This is why it's nice to work in each section because you know that you're going to put the same line in every one. Sometimes if we spread this over two sections, then it can get a little bit tricky if you're talking and trying to put these lines in. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to then draw this, this line. So I'll tell it to you which way you go. Well, if Margaret's out there watching tonight, can I say thank you very much? You sent me a lovely little gift today. I don't know if uh, you were watching earlier, but I, I did wear it. Hang on a second. There we go. There it is. There it is. Thank you very much. And the other one I've got to message, so. There we go. Next one. You see, making this little, little flowery shape in the middle there. And just keeping it going so they're all quite kind of similar. There we go. All right. So let's bring a little line inside this, you know, our, known as our aura. And, uh, into these. So I'm going to take each one as I, just as I go. I'm going to do the same on the other side too. So if you want to do one petal first, go ahead and do that one petal. I'm going to quite like doing it this way. Get the sort of similar curve then. Yeah, so, yeah, could be sunflower. Lots of little bubbles and things in the middle. I hope you all uh, watched how I did the chrysanthemum this afternoon. It's, it's really complex, isn't it? But when you think it's just a few little teardroppy shapes and loops, that works really well. There we go. And then same on the other side. So you can work top to bottom or you can work back. Whatever works for you. I find actually coming towards me gives me a better shape. But I know everybody's different. And around we go. And I just sort of keep going. Creating this little shape here. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I wish I had the time to actually do a bit more colouring on it. But hopefully when, when we do the the Zoom with the, the flowers, I can show you how to draw a few others. But perhaps if you want to, we can do a little bit of colouring as well. That's the nice thing with that. We can be a bit more interactive. There we go. All right. Next thing then. We've got these... Let's do the shapes in the middle first. Very, very traditional, the one I kind of like. Loop in the middle and a loop either side. All right, this is... Um... Oh, Bonnie, a thunderstorm, goodness me. I must admit, I do like your uh, your butterfly that you did. You posted on the Santangle group. It's beautiful. I do get on there and have a quick sneaky peek now and again. I know you don't think I do, but I do. Nice to see what everybody's doing. Of course, the tile swaps as well are out and about now. I know there's one I did have to post off to Ireland. So that went a little bit later than the others. Okay. But it's on its way. So lots of these little loops. It's quite small. I must admit this. If you can't get three in, that's fine. Just do two. Absolutely no problem at all. Or if you can't get two in, then maybe just one. <laughs> but 
And you have like the uh, single little loop in the middle there. There we go. Oh, Chrissy, I'm sure they did. That yours definitely left the building. They didn't leave in the building. We've had to have the, our lights sorted out. We had a couple of flickering lights a couple of weeks ago and then they just died. So uh, we have been working a little bit in the dark in places. So we've, uh, we've got that sorted now. We thought it was wonderful today that we've had lights. Yeah. <laughs> we can suddenly see again. Uh, oh, Pam, it, it depends um, with how we make it. We post them out, so the orders come to us, and then from there we pack them and parcel them. And if yodels call in or, in the area that day, then we can drop them, give them to them. But if not, we usually have to book it a day in, in advance. Now, we've got a bit of a confession because we did pack everything that was ordered today, didn't we, Leslie? But then yodel came and went, which is great. But we forgot to give them a box of parcels. So I think there's about 24, 25 parcels, really sorry, that are going to get collected tomorrow. So once they leave me, uh, they could be a couple of days, two or three days, not sure. Uh, it's, it's still something quite new, so it's nice to see when people post what they, that they've got their parcel. We can, we can gauge, oh, we posted that yesterday or whatever and then they've got it so oh. <laughs> all right Liz I was confessing for both of us it's all right not to worry okay you see that I put a pencil line down the middle here because what I want to do is come in and draw a little square there let's go a little bit bigger if I can there we go oh that's big there we are so I'm going to fill that in and then create some little chevron lines all the way down okay let's do another we, we have spent the last two days packing and we were in this morning we were actually packing by half by seven this morning to get them all out we, we know you want them and, and we'd be the same so any we've done this has done quite a few shop orders today as well and we'll we'll sort of hit the rest tomorrow. We'll get those sorted. <laughs> he said not to worry. You can catch up with this. And of course, I I am doing this rather quickly. Because if you're not careful, this could take a little longer than an hour. Because there's a lot of detail in there. So uh, I'm I'm going for it tonight. So don't think you've got to keep up. As long as you've got an idea, you know where I'm going. <laughs> All right. So uh, just sort of continuing this. Don't worry if you're not getting the same amount in each. Just sort of fill it in and uh, move on to the next. Don't look at the last one. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. We, we do work really hard. I think we're a bit shattered today. But it's worth it, you know, because you create these products and then you never, well, you never know if you're going to like them or not, honestly. And it's always a risk because, you know, it's something a bit different. So it's lovely to see that they're, they're going out and about and you're all using them. We, we love to see what you're doing with them all. And everyone is like a, a little Christmas present. We, we do our best to wrap them and Make sure they get to you in one piece. There we go. So, there we go. So, coloured pencils, gel pens, brush pens, all sorts of things have gone out this time. But, uh, new the Artistic Forms and Frames books, fantastic. I do love that book. There we go. And that's good to hear, Nadia, that you're well. That's brilliant. Oh, thank you, everybody, for your patience and for your continued support. It's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, Lynn, I never take it for granted. Honestly, I never take it for granted. It's always, uh, you know, a little bit of a risk. Okay, so I'm working now on the top section here. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put a curve across the whole sort of section at a time. Just sort of keep it going. Hello, Glennis. Nice to see you. Or hear you anyway. Or read you, whichever it comes. It's, uh, it's just lovely. It's like all the gang together again. There we are. Can you see all the way around as I'm doing this? Okay. Glennis, we've told Tommy all about you. <laughs> we can't wait to meet you. <laughs> oh, he's doing fine, isn't he, Leslie? We've got a good one there. He even helped the, the yodel to pack all the parcels in the van today. It's, it's lovely. Okay, there we go. So we've got that kind of uh, shape going on. All right. So I want a quick sip of tea, being that I've made it myself. And no, it's not Prosecco. All right, so I'm going to do now, I'm going to work on this side. Think about this pencil line still and this top section here. So I'm going to come out a little bit and then I'm going to come back in. Now I'm thinking about getting three of these in. So again, and I'm going to try if I can to keep it into that line there. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in that space there. You don't have to, you can put bubbles in. I'm going to fill it in, okay? So, <laughs> later, that'll be later. So the next one then, uh, come on out there, and back in, and then out, and then in, and then I'm going to aim again for that third one to sort of be on that line. Again, don't worry if it isn't, it's fine. There we are, fill those bits in. And again. So if you want to do this in pencil first, or if you want to mark some little guidelines, you can, but I'd just go for it. See where it ends up. If you don't fit it all in that same space, it goes over a bit or under a bit, it's fine. All right. So Glennis, we were wondering the other day how, how much Pandora you had for your anniversary. <laughs> we thought we'd uh, we'd compare notes when you you come to class. So there we go. And next one here. If anybody wants to come to class, I think there's probably I think there's one space left. On, uh, on one day and I think two on another if you're up for it it's uh, next weekend isn't it 25th 26th so, uh, yeah we've even got la working lights now that don't flicker or anything <laughs> that just means we're gonna have to go around and make sure that it, the paintwork was painted properly <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> And uh, when the place was painted originally, there were no lights because there was no, no meter in there, so no power at all. And, uh, now we've got lights that are really bright. You probably you'll see all the all the marks. <laughs> okay, so I'm working around this space, putting these little shapes in there, just filling those little gaps as I go. There we go. There's a no rush for this. So don't, don't think you've got to keep up. So as long as you get the idea of it. There we go. So you can just sort of fill it in as I go. All right, oh, missed a bit. So this would work just as well on an inked tile. Or it would work on a regular cream tile. It really doesn't matter. You could even do a tiny version of this on a tiny tile. Now, who's the lady, Leslie, that we saw on uh, Facebook this morning, who's done every, she's redrawn every single tile on a tiny tile? It looks fabulous. What an achievement. Can't remember the lady's name now. But 
Have you, have you not seen that? Don't have a look at it. She's done every single tile. That's a labour of love, isn't it? Alright. And same again. Let's just make sure that I'm following the same design. Just keeping it within that section. Filling in those gaps. Okay. Now, uh, the same again. So I think we're going to get Tommy to do this tile tomorrow. So I think once he's done it, either Leslie or I'll post it on the Santangle group page. Okay. So you can see how well he's done. He's doing great. And another. I just think when he, he's got an extra two mums when he's at work, I don't think... <laughs> I think sometimes we, we maybe we overwhelm him a little bit, but he's, he's taking it in his stride. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm glad you were very lucky. Goodness me! Let's sort the bit going in. Let's have a quick look at where we're at with this. Okay. Oh, look at that. So far, so good. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Okay, let's just have a quick look at the middle then. Now, you notice I've put that little line in there because I'm going to work from there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in the, the quarter. I'm going to come up and round and then come down the line and then up and round and come down the line. So let's do another one. So following that line, we're up and round down the line. Ah, oh, Sue, yeah, I do, I do. But what do you think? I suppose I do this all the time, so I get used to it. And it's just about having that confidence. Just be confident when you put that pen on the paper and go for it. Uh, keep it a light pressure. You don't have to press on at all. Just let the pen do its thing. And just relax with it. Right. Oh, that's it. April. Yes, April. So I'm going to do another smaller one. Well, you could do a little teardrop. You could do a, like a, um, a little leaf shape. Whatever you want to do. Little bubbles. Well, you see, I'm just sort of gauging where that starts coming around it's like a little four leaf clover isn't it in the middle here we are let's just put a little line in there we go and again i could fill this in but i think do you know what i'm going to put a bubble in and then fill the space and then see how that looks just sort of coming in with that you could put more bubbles in if you want or you could put a, a line in just a row of lines if you want to so let's work it round Ooh, change the shape a bit there and another one again they'd look nice in a bit of colour maybe later but we'll see how we're going to shape it first and then see what we think some bit of glitter or something. Look quite nice this. Imagine doing this actually. This could be the start of uh, you know the mandala stencils that we've done recently or the circle frames you could use and go bigger. There we go. So I'm gonna come now to these sort of sail shapes or shark fins, whatever you want to call them. It's whatever you see, I suppose, isn't it? And I'm going to imagine that I've got a mark about the middle, out there. And then let's just create a little loop from there outwards to there. And then out towards this one. And then along here. And then along here. Okay. Let's do another. So again, sort of centre. So along and along. And then here and there. And again, so you put your dot if you need to. 
And you don't have to do this all in one go. You could do each one and then have a break in between. But I, I kind of like to sort of do it as a series of loops. It works quite nice. Oh, Lynn, you always, I always rely on you to ask what it's going on. I did give a sneak, didn't I, this afternoon. We do have a macro tile box going on there. But we don't have many because they take a long time to run. And they take a lot of material, so we're not taking on as many as we normally would. So there is going to be a few bits, but I'm going to save it. You want a surprise, don't you? I'm not going to tell you anything else. <laughs> there we are. I know, Goth, you've been waiting for one of those, I know. And you know what? We've designed it, so it's, uh, it's going to allow the uh, all the boxes to sort of sit on top of it. I thought about your desk space. So I'm just working on mine at the minute, as well as a few other things. Um, so I've been very busy, but it's really good. I like being busy. And I wouldn't be busy if it wasn't for all you out there supporting us, so... Thank you. And there you are. And the same one here. Let's have a look at this. Goodness me. Okay, let's have a look. Look at that. All right, so we've got a, quite a lot of black sections in here, haven't we? We, we do need a little bit more. So what I'm going to do here is put little bubbles in, just like we did in the center. And then I'm going to fill it around the edges. And again, I know this is a little bit time consuming, but it's going to pay off, honestly, all this work. And if you sort of think, oh, I've made a mistake or it's not quite right, please don't worry about it. Oh, that's a good point. See these little bits here? I can go in, I can fill those in while I'm at it. It's all sort of part and parcel of the same thing then, isn't it? There we go. So again, if you wanted to do this in a different colour, you can. But I'm going to, I want that black effect tonight. I want to see how that's going on. So here we go, bubbles in. Now again, if you want to go around and do all your bubbles first, do, do that, it's fine. But I want to make sure that I, I get them all so I don't want to miss one. So I'm going to do it as I go. And again, I am working quickly, so don't worry if you're not keeping up. I have picked the pace up tonight. There we go. So four bubbles. Fill in the gaps. There we are. Okay. And there, next one. Well, thank you, Lorraine. I'm looking forward to seeing what you all do with yours. Because I know that once this goes out and you've all had a go at it, you're going to want to draw this one again. I know you are. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to do with it. What colour tiles you're going to... There you go. Sort of a... filling it in there. Just sort of keep it going. Again, normally I, I would, well I do, I am enjoying colouring this, but normally I would take my time a little bit more and sort of spend a little bit more time on this part because of course that's what makes it what it is, but we're just going to keep working our way around. Wait till I get you to shade it. How are we going to do that? I wonder. There we go. Sort of keep it going. Again, I'm glad I've decided to fill it with ink as I go. Because uh, I don't want to sort of get confused as to which bit I'm colouring in and which bit I'm not. So I'll work it that way. There we go. Little bits as I go. And then straight in with the next one. Again, it's tricky as well using a thicker pen. You can't really because some of these sections are really fine. 
something that you can't really get in with a thicker pen so there we go and of course you've got to focus because there's lots of little sections and you want to make sure that you, you're working in the, the right one here so they're all sort of starting to merge and remembering where that original line was so a little bit of a distant memory now there we are sort of a filling in there just getting those little bits of course you, you could have filled this all complete with bubbles not put any ink in there and there just coming on in there there we go just sort of making sure you, you cover all the areas there we go anybody's just joined me this is not a speeded up version <laughs> this is uh this is live there we go but uh, uh tommy did ask didn't he leslie how we do it so quickly it uh, takes him a little while <laughs> to do it i know we do laugh it's good fun it's great training somebody we we do pull his leg a little bit at times. But other than that, <laughs> it's great. Alright, see, bubbles still not too far off now. Look at this. There we go. And then bringing those bits in there. Just almost done. I mean, we could go in and we could put extra lines in these little droplets and all sorts of things if we wanted to and there we go almost almost done there we are just doing that little bit again you could put little lines in those if you want to as well just means a bit more detail if you look for it that's fine Whew. all right let's have a look at this <laughs> not quite yet, Viv. <laughs> sort of similar, but not quite. To be honest, he hardly comes out of the laser room because there's so much work to do. We haven't got time to. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Okay, here we go then. There we are. So I'm going to now come in with my regular pencil. I'm not going to worry about taking away any pencil lines because we're not going to see them. Oh, uh, look, it's got a bit rounded. Uh, if I iron it under a clean cloth, yeah, it'll work, absolutely. But don't steam iron it, just dry iron. And if you go back over the night, it'll be fine. I used to do that with uh, sort of work from uh, university all the time. Yeah, because we were working on cheaper paper then. We used to bend lots and rumple and all sorts of things. Right, okay. So yeah, if you if you have a, a tile and you've inked and it's still not quite flat, as long as you use a dry iron, you can iron it flat, it'd be fine. You won't have a problem with it. Alright, so don't be shy with your pencil on this tonight. I want you to make sure that you're putting plenty on. And of course, if you're not using one of my tiles and or the pencil, then just check it first that it's gonna take it. So there we go. All the way around the outside. And now this line here, see, if you come back to my original shape, this one here, I'm going to be shading on this line here, but on the outer edge. So I'm actually in that ring shape there, you see? Again, you can hear I am actually putting some pressure on there. So it's not going to be a light shade. You do want it a little bit darker. And there we go, we're around. So then I'm going to do the same line, but this time on the inside. So you think, why didn't she just do a, a thicker line? But I want, to, I want you to be aware that we've got some of it on the outer edge and some of it on the inner edge. You see? Now, who thought that we were going to shade every single little piece on this? That would have taken us quite a while. And of course, if you want to do that, you can do that, that's absolutely fine. There we go. So now I'm working on the inner circle. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same on the inside. 
So again, I'm not worrying about this because we don't need to. Again, you, if you didn't want to do that, you could have coloured this as a gem or you could, uh, I'm going to just do that there, look. You could leave this one where it needs a little bit of something in there. All right. And maybe just a little bit in the middle. There we go. All right. In with our tortillon. on. And I'll start in the middle. Let's go a little bit larger. There you go. So it looks a bit rough, not to worry. I'm going to just very gently pull that out. Just, just giving it a little bit of a lighten up there. And then the same sort of around here. I don't want to sort of fill in the whole shape. So I'm going to sort of ease off and up there. Okay. So maybe there where it needs a little bit of a... And then you see we're just going with the, the torture. It's just a little bit heavier, but start quite light. And if you feel it needs it, see like I've still got pencil lines there. Go in a little heavier. You see it just takes them out there. Okay. So I'm just going to work my way around. So see if we do it heavy first, you see you get a thicker line there. And then you've got to pull this out. And then you've still got the line. So then you've got to work a bit harder to get rid of that line. So if you pull this out first. And then go in. You see it's got something to work into so it's not so bad. There we are. Now see I've got this line here. Do I want that? I'm going to get rid of that. Start a bit. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to work in circles and I'm going to go around this first sort of line of graphite you know the inner circle there we go I don't want to go too far with it because uh, I don't want it to completely cover what we've done on the inside there you see just keeping it softening off there you go that pencil marks disappeared now but leaving that little bit of a white line or highlight there we go all right so now you see that i've got the inside one done but i've still got the outside bit so again let's work around that outside bit you see circles i don't want it to move all the way to the middle i just want it to travel a little bit as i'm working my way around We are sort of taking my time. No rush with this. Okay. All the way around. See, we've got that kind of thing going on. So then, coming to the next one. See, I've got two definite lines. And working it round. Little circles. Just as before. And again, I don't want to sort of have it join that last lot of graphite we've just blended because I want that little highlight in the middle there. All right, so keep it going. Turn your tile as you go. So you're not sort of leaning over what you've already done. You just want to take your time. There we go. And it's nice to see this one come to life a little bit, I think. This one always uh, amazes me. Or oh, this kind of sort of tile I love doing. I've not done one in ages. There we go. Okay, so there we are. Back to the end there. Now on to this next row. And just as before, work it round. So, see as we go. Okay. Almost. Trying to keep it in. And it's spun out of control then. Right into this next bit. Just keep it going. See now, if you've got something underneath that you were worried about or you thought it wasn't going to quite work, now it's gone away. It's just all part of the same image. It's all slipped in together. Now this is really nice as well. You could have done each one of these rings in a different colour. It works really nice with pastel pencils. 
you can mix those in. And then this one. And around we go. You see, just blending it out just as before. I'm not doing it anything different. There we go. And taking our time. Again, I don't want this to touch the middle. So I'm going in little swirls. There we go. Keep my way around. See, just in little bits. Now, if you've got the mandalas we did the other week, or if you've got the Artistic Forms and Frames book, then you can create this kind of design. You can shade like this on some of those circle shapes or indeed the squares if you want, whatever works. But it's a real nice way of shading. It means you don't have to do everything individually. Okay, just before I show you that, what I want to do now, I'm going to come in with my white chalk pencil. And where we've got that centre highlight, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add some white to it okay now again don't be shy with this work along the middle i'm not going to blend this out i'm going to just keep it as it is because i want a very definite highlight in the center of this ring you see just try and keep it central if you can now i know you can use a white pen to do this but I think sometimes that can be a little bit harsh using the pencil. It sort of keeps it in with the rest of it. So I'm working now on the inner circle. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm applying quite a bit. Oh, Lisa, if yours is going grey, it might be that your graphite's travelling a little bit too far into the middle. What you can do if you've got a uh, sometimes I cut look like my, my rubber. Look, I cut little bits off my rubber, so it's a really clean edge. And you might want to go round with your rubber first and just clean up any graphite that's in those highlighted places, and then that'll help to keep your uh, chalk pencil white. Okay, you see, because there's graphite there, but there's definitely not. It's not that much because it's going on. If there was graphite there, it would pick it up. Again, just giving it a little bit of a highlight in there. All right, almost done. Almost done. I'm going to come back in with my pen. And again, you could actually come in with your circles, which I probably will actually. There you go. And I'm going to draw. Let's go out a little bit. There you go. I'm going to draw that line back in. And then I'm going to draw that line back in. I'm only doing this to sort of redefine it, you really don't have to. Okay, you see that I've gone over a bit, doesn't matter, you can do it. Back in with pencil. Just bring the pencil up to the line and then torture, just work it back around. It's going to be quite dark around there so it doesn't really matter too much. And then let's do the outside as well. That on and again, I'm going to draw around the outside. You can do it by hand if you want to. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Okay, so this is why we've gone in real heavy with the pencil oh, because, like here, we can go in even heavier, and the, the sort of the, the heavier you go. The more three-dimensional it looks so don't be shy with your pencil here you see so let's do the same there because we've now blended that out we can actually go in and add a little bit more if you feel it needs it okay with, honestly with this it can never be enough and then a little bit on this side as well i think so you've got to have a look at yours and you decide if you think it needs a little bit more darkness. See the difference that's making by going round and adding more. And then of course, 
around the top edge as well. Now, if you feel that that needs blending in, go ahead and blend it in. But again, you're going to look at your own tile and see what you think. But I actually might sort of go, okay. leave it as is. There we go. Let's have a look at it in a minute. Okay, look at that. How different is that? How unusual to have that in the middle. And see with the, the real dark and the light in the middle gives it such a three-dimensional feel. So basically using a tile and, of course, using two little stencils, pen, pencil, tortillon and a white pencil, look what you've got. Absolutely love that. It, it does look three-dimensional, doesn't it? It really looks like it's coming off the page um uh, dawn yeah you, it, the white pencil is similar to the one you could use for quilting it's chalk it's not pastel look it's it's actually chalk you see um and the chalkier the better really because that's what's going to sit over the black i do sell them they're not on my new website yet but they're on my old one uh, which you can sort of find through the Santangle group so it's on there but uh, I will get them put on the new website soon but you definitely need um, a white chalky pencil for, for this kind of thing it gives it that three-dimensional appearance doesn't it so okay last thing to do that a little bit of a signature there we go on the tile and all done so okay we need to uh, think about Friday don't forget it's tile 250 so we're promised we're all going to have cake uh, whilst we're doing the tile so uh, hopefully you can join me for that one it'll be uh, it'll be wonderful of course we're going to be um, back at the two o'clock slot so if you can that'd be lovely i can't wait to see what you're going to do with these so, uh, i look forward to seeing them on the santangle group page soon all right everybody so you take care and uh, i will see you all on friday have a good one what's left of it not too much prosecco and uh, <laughs> Am I buying? Of course, Leslie. We'll get John to go and fetch them. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Okay. Take care. See you soon. Bye.